Hello friends! So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video while I get ready. I hope this helps bond us a little bit better, you get to know me. All of these questions are from my followers on Instagram. Make sure you go follow me there at it's tiamarie underscore underscore. So let's get into it. The first question is what is my coffee order? I would have to say recently my favorite go-to has been a salted caramel latte with oat milk. It is so good and I can have it iced or hot and I like it both ways. Uh, fave workout and fave food. Me and my best friend like to go work out in the mornings like five days a week. And I think our favorite days are usually like leg and booty days because we're trying to get a dump truck, you know? <laughs> and then my favorite food has to be Thai food. Like I could eat Thai food literally every day for the rest of my life. If you could choose one store to shop at, what would it be and why? I'm gonna have to say Target. I know that it's kind of like basic, but they have everything and everything's so cute. Like they have home decor stuff, they have food, they have clothes, they have jewelry, they have games, they have books. Like that store literally has everything and everything they have is so cute. So it's like, how could I not pick Target? Do you still dance? I do still dance. Um, not like I used to. When I was younger, I was dancing like a full-time job, like 40 hours a week probably, at least, um, on top of like school and everything. And it was exhausting to say the least, but I had big plans for my dance future and I tried them out. I went to LA, I moved January, 2020, and COVID hit in March <laughs> and that kind of cut my dance career short. Well, I didn't know that it was cutting my dance career. I just was taking it one step at a time. Um, I planned to go back to dance, but didn't really know when that was gonna happen. Like seven different studios shut down in LA. I was in a year long lease there anyways. So I just stayed there, hung out, tried my best to enjoy the year. And at the end of the year, there was just a lot of different like life things happening during that time. Um, COVID was still a really big thing. And so I moved home and I decided to start fresh and just get back to a healthy place because I wasn't in a healthy place. So I came home, I moved back in with my dad. Um, I started therapy and yeah, I realized maybe that industry isn't for me. I teach dance to all ages from like five to 18 and I love it so much more. And it's a big responsibility, in my opinion, to be a teacher, but it's very rewarding as well, where I feel like in the industry, it's a lot more draining than it is rewarding. So yeah, I still dance, just not on the path that I always expected to be on. What will your channel contain? Everything fashion, makeup, beauty, chit chats. I do want to have more like heart to hearts on here than I have had like on Instagram lately. If there's like specific things that you guys want to see though, please feel free to comment and give me ideas because that'd be super helpful so that I know what kind of content you guys would want and we can kind of collaborate on that. What made you start vlogging? Like I told you guys before with dance being my entire life growing up, I didn't really get to try a whole lot of different things. Like one time I asked to try tennis and my mom was like, no. <laughs> so I didn't get to try different things like tennis or cheerleading or even just like hanging out with my friends, to be honest. Like I danced a lot and I loved it, but it didn't really give me a lot of time to explore what I like to do other than dance. And when COVID hit, um, I had a lot of free time. I started to really find an like, inkling for fashion and that's when I started blogging. So it kind of came out of boredom in a way, but it also like I think was always something that I wanted to try. I just didn't have the time to do it. Who inspired you to make a YouTube? So actually when I first started blogging, I had come across this girl's Instagram and it was actually someone I danced with. I used to dance with her, her sister. And she was a YouTuber and a blogger and I came across her Instagram and I like loved her stuff and thought she was like absolutely stunning. And I reached out to her and she was such a sweetheart. Her name is Liz Ryan. And this had to have been over a year ago now, which I think is so crazy. 
it was a really inspiring conversation specifically about YouTube because she does YouTube and that's like I would say her thing or like her platform and here I am actually starting a YouTube finally and I definitely have her to thank to like from someone who's in the, this industry I guess you can say to be supportive like that to me is really like sweet and I've just always been super grateful to her for that also my sisters and my friends they were all like you need to start a YouTube especially once I started blogging they were like why are you not YouTubing and I was like I don't know I'm just like not a YouTuber like I don't watch YouTube it's not my thing like I'm not sure seems like a lot of work I can't even handle one like platform right now much less like two three platforms when I was in therapy I was like talking about with my therapist and how I wanted to start a YouTube but I just like didn't really feel like I could do it we basically talked about like how prioritizing and blah 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 anyways long story short it became one of my goals for 2021 and it's been in every single one of my journal entries like it's just been there like and it keeps like looking me in the face and i still haven't done it and so i started telling my friends like i will start a youtube by the end of the year it will happen i will do it before 2022 hits i'm making it happen and i think putting it out there into the world and like telling my friends gives me that responsibility and like holds me accountable to actually do it and i'm doing it so yeah what are you most proud of yourself for this year so this is where we start to get deep at the end of 2020 um, my boyfriend my ex-boyfriend and i had just broke up and there was a lot of things happening in my personal life that were all just like kind of catching up to me in the sense of like trauma some people take it as like a dramatic word but it literally is trauma like a lot of trauma from my childhood and just that year in general had caught up to me and i was starting to have panic attacks and i was just in a really really low place in my life for a really large chunk of time but it all just kind of came like barreling in and became really overwhelming to like a maximum degree at the end of the year and when i moved home i didn't know what i was going to be doing i was completely lost my entire life that i had planned out literally just flipped upside down like i just had no idea what i was doing and i started therapy i found a therapist online like randomly one day i went on there started like clicking in little filters to find a therapist and like help me find one that i connected with and i saw this one lady and I don't know, I just felt connected to her and I reached out and I think that like next week I was in therapy and I saw her for like once a week for probably six months. And that's what I'm most proud of myself for, I think, is just taking the responsibility into my own hands because no one can change my life. No one can change what happened. Um, even the people that like hurt me or were in like those hurtful situations. I can't change what they did and I can't change the outcome of how my life played out, but I can take it into my own hands to help myself grow from it versus just like throwing a pity party and like letting myself be sad about it, I guess. Like, I wasn't gonna let myself damage new relationships or damage myself and my self-confidence because of what had happened in my life up until that point, bringing me down, if that makes sense. What did you learn in therapy? Well. The question is what are you learning in therapy but i'm not currently in therapy but a lot of the stuff that me and my therapist talked about still like resonates with me and i still have to think about it very often and like remind myself and go back through my journals and like reread things and reread books that she recommended but kind of to like tag along with what we talked about previously in the last question i think the biggest thing that i learned was that i can't control what other people do and i can only control how I respond um I can't necessarily even control how I feel but how I respond reflects how I'll feel and over time it'll get easier like for example I you know would get super stressed out or super like down and overwhelmed because I would try to do so much and I wouldn't put myself first and say like no I can't do that or nope I don't have the time and setting boundaries and allowing myself to put myself first and know when it's needed and not feel guilty about it um 
and now I'm learning that I don't I don't have to be guilty for putting myself first and it actually has made me a better friend and a better daughter and a better sister and a better person all in all to put myself first because then I can give back correctly and then I'm not resenting them because I'm putting myself last you know so that's just one example of like I can't control other people asking me to help them or like asking me if I can do this or do that but I can control how I handle the situation so I can either say yes and freak out later and then resent them or I can say no but I can help you this day or no but I can do this or simply no and I don't feel I have to feel guilty about it and then the real ones or the real friends or the real colleagues will still be there in the end because they understand and then you've earned that respect or you've established that mutual respect and it took a lot of rewiring my brain and re rewiring how situations affected me and how I looked on situations and how I reacted to learn that I don't have to feel guilty and I'm still working on that like there's still situations that I get myself into where I have that same reaction but I have to like reel it back in and know who I am and what I need and what I require as a person um, and everyone's different like everyone struggles with different things and everyone reacts to things differently um, but yeah I would say that's my biggest takeaway is that I can't control anything else in this world but myself that was really long that was really really long but I told you guys we were getting deep and having a heart to heart. <laughs> okay, so my makeup is officially done. So I'm gonna wrap this up with one last question. It is biggest goals for 2022. Faith, followers, and happiness. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A, getting to know me a little bit better. I had a good time. I feel like I'm talking to friends and I'm sitting here talking to my phone. So yeah. <laughs> I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. Let me know what content you'd like to see moving forward since I am a new channel and I want to create really great content for you guys. But I hope you have a wonderful year for 2022 and that you set goals and accomplish all that you hope for. And on that note, make sure you subscribe and like and share and do all the good stuff so you can come back for next time. Bye guys.